Today I want to show you how easy it is to hook up hobby servos to your Arduino with the Robot Geek Sensor Shield. And when you've got a lot of hobby servos, you tend to get a lot of wires and a lot of mess hooking up to your Arduino. With the Robot Geek Sensor Shield, you can go straight from one servo to one of the ports on here very cleanly. In this case, I've got a little analog sensor, so here's another wire to control my servos. And I can easily control, connect and control up to six servos with absolutely no problem. Now one of the problems you might see when you get into sensor shields is that your, all of your servos are going to be powered from the 5 volt Arduino power supply. This is bad for two reasons. First is, the regulator on the Arduino can only supply so much power. This means that you might not get enough power for all of your servos. The second problem is a lot of servos can go past 5 volts, 6, 7 volts maybe, what we've done with our sensor shield is we've got two jumpers so you can set different groups of pins to either use the Arduino's 5 volt power supply or an external power supply like a wall wart or in this case a battery. Once you attach this and change your jumpers you can really get a lot of more torque and speed out of your servos without having to worry about power considerations. As you can see here the servo on the right moves faster than the servo on the left. The servo on the left is running from 5 volts, while the right one is running from 7. You can use this technique for just about any sort of actuator that will accept a larger power supply than the normal Arduino's 5 volt. In this case, I've got a linear actuator. It accepts a servo control signal, so I'm just going to plug it in, and I'm able to easily control it and give it that 7 volts power supply that I was giving the servos. Now, you have to be really careful when you're working with these jumpers. You want to make sure that you're only plugging in devices you know that can handle different power supplies. So, actuators are okay, but an LED board or other sensor boards might not accept 5 volts, and you might damage them if you have your jumpers set the wrong way. You also have to be careful that you're not plugging in too much voltage through your input, say 12 volts, to a servo that might only take 6 or 7. You might damage it. But as long as you take care, you're going to have a really easy way to control all of your different devices at their highest efficiency and get your project up and running in no time flat.